numbers have common multiples. Like 8, for example, is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 4. The smallest common multiple of two numbers is called the least common multiple, and you can see that definition here. For example, the least common multiple of 8 and 12 is 24. One way to figure that out would be to just list out the multiples and then notice where the first common multiple occurs. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on, and the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, and you would stop there and say, hey look, the least common multiple must be 24. 8 times 3 gives us 24, and 12 times 2 gives us 24. The weakness of this strategy is you never know just how many multiples you're going to have to list before you find a common one. but it sometimes works fine. Another reliable strategy to find the least common multiple of two numbers is to look at their factors, specifically their prime factors. We can break 8 down into 4 times 2, and 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2, and we see the prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8. We can break 12 down in a similar way. 12 is 4 times 3, and 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2, and those are the prime factors of 12, 2 times 2 times 3. Then you can find the least common multiple of the two numbers by multiplying together the prime factors. Just don't duplicate the common factors. By that, I mean we take the prime factors of 8, 2 times 2 times 2, but that already includes two factors of 2. So we don't need to include those again when we look at the factors of 12. So all the factors of 2 just come from the 8, and that covers the 2s that are in the factors of 12. However, to cover the factorization of 12, we also need that factor of 3, and this gives us our least common multiple. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, you can see that agrees with the previous strategy. Don't worry if that was a little confusing, we'll do another example. Let's slightly change the context though. One of the big uses of least common multiples is least common denominators. The least common denominator of two or more fractions is the least common multiple of the denominators. This is often used for us to get fractions to have the same denominator, then we can compare them and add them together easily. For example, to do 5 sixteenths plus 7 twentieths, we need to get common denominators. One strategy you can always use is to just multiply the fractions by each other's denominators. We could multiply 20 over 20 on the left and multiply by 16 over 16 on the right. That type of thing always works, but it's not always going to give you the least common denominator, and sometimes that might be what you want. So to make sure we use the least common denominator, let's try finding the least common multiple of 16 and 20. Now again, we could do this by listing out the multiples. 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, and then multiples of 20 are 20, 40, 60, 80, and then we would stop there and see that their least common multiple is 80. Again, the weakness of this strategy is you never know how long you might have to write these lists out. If we instead use the factorization strategy, 16 is 4 times 4, and we can factor 4 as 2 times 2. 20, on the other hand, we can factor as 4 times 5, and then again 4 is factored as 2 times 2. Then, as before, to find the least common multiple, which in this case is the least common denominator, we just multiply together the prime factors of these numbers, just don't include duplicates. So 16 has 4 factors of 2. We need all of those, but that also covers the 2 factors of 2 that 20 has. So the only other thing we need is the factor of 5 that 20 has, and this is going to be our least common denominator. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, times 5 is 
80 just as we thought. 16 goes into 85 times and 20 goes into 84 times. So the fraction on the left we multiply by 5 over 5 and the fraction on the right we multiply by 4 over 4. Then on the left we have 25 over 80 and on the right we have 28 over 80. And now it's very easy to add these fractions together. It's going to be 53 over 80. That's what least common multiples and least common denominators are, as well as how to find them and how to use them. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my pre-algebra course and pre-algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. I'll also leave a link in the description to a lesson where we practice a bunch more examples of this stuff. Just to be regular